Hello, Deb. It's Sam. Welcome to Dyla's Story. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to sing some songs for you today and we'll have a we'll have a conversation for about 15 minutes, something like that, and it will be punctuated with song. And if it's okay by you, I'd like to start with a welcome song. If that's fine. Good. Um, so this one's just the word welcome in loads of different languages. Listen out and see if you recognise any. Here we go. Ah, Helen, what's I'll go. So what do I actually do? So we'll just have a chat. We'll just have a chat about lockdown and stuff like that. And then I'll just, you know, hopefully it'll just be natural, Nigel. And then we'll see how it goes. And then I'll just go into a short story. Is that all right? Okay, okay, yeah. It's not like you're listening to me performing. You can sort of interact as well. Just just go with whatever feels cool, yeah. Okay, okay. So what I like to do is I like to give my listeners a choice. So I'll do the same for you. I will ask you some questions and guide you through poems, my own work, as well as the work of other people I just think is really cool, based on what you prefer. Mm -hmm. So let's go for, ooh, uh, bees or moths? Bees. Fantastic. I love the fact that people choose bees. This poem is by Sheena Pugh and it's a poem I have loved for a very, very long time. And it's called Bumblebees in the Scientific Method. It reminds me of something I've heard before. Mm. And I think, and I think so embarrassingly, it's from the bee movie where they oh, say it probably has been. <laughs> by all known laws of aviation, the bee should not be able to fly or something like that. And yeah. that just cracks me up every time. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, for getting in touch with Dyla's story. And if you like the story, share it. And, and, and I hope I see you again soon. For more information and to book a Dyla story performance, visit Black Country Touring's website, bctouring.co.uk.